A sitemap is an important part of your website that offers easy access to your content. It's super friendly for SEO and also for human navigation. Generally, the XML sitemaps are meant for search engines and the HTML sitemaps are for the human visitors. In this video, we will show you how to create a sitemap in WordPress. We'll show you multiple methods. You can choose whichever way works the best for you. Let's get started. So first, to add our XML or HTML sitemap, we are going to go to Plugin and click on Add New. And we are going to search for a plugin called XML Sitemap. Okay, so this is the plugin we are looking for, XML Sitemap Generator for Google. Okay, you can see it has over 1 million active installations. So we are going to install it by clicking on this button. Okay, it's installed. Now let's click on Activate. Okay, so our plugin has been activated. Okay, so we're going to go to Settings now and click on Permalinks. And make sure that your uh, permalink structure is set to post name. okay? After that, and click on Save Changes. And now go to XML Sitemap. And here you can see there are various options for sitemaps. You can see um, what kind of content you want for your XML Sitemap. You can also include uh, categories, archives, whatever you want. You can also include the custom taxonomies as well. You can also select which things you want to exclude. Okay, so we have this uncategorized, we want to exclude this. Okay, so after that, we are going to click on update options. And now our sitemap has been generated. So here you can see the URL to your sitemap index file is this one. Okay, so if we click on this, you can see this is our sitemap. You can see it says here, this XML sitemap is used by search engines which follow the XML sitemap standard. This file contains links to sub-sitemaps. Follow them to see the actual sitemap content. So if we click on a particular link, it's going to show us the other contents within that link, okay? Okay, now let's learn how to add a sitemap using Yoast. To do that, just hover your mouse over here, click on Add New, and we're going to search for the Yoast plugin. We're going to click on Install Now, and it's installed, let's click on Activate, and it has been activated. We are going to skip the configuration for now, and here you can see there's an option called Settings, we'll go here. Okay, now we're going to scroll down over here in the API section, and here you can already see the XML sitemap. This feature is already enabled. Okay, so once it's enabled, you can click on the View XML Sitemap. Here you can see the sitemap generated by Yoast. Let's click on one of the links, and it's showing us the pages. All right, so it's working perfectly. Okay, now let's learn how you can add your XML or HTML sitemap using Rank Math. Okay, so from Plugins, we will go to Add New and we will search for rank math. Okay, we're going to install this plugin from here. Now let's activate it. All right, let's skip this for now. And here are the sitemap settings. Let's click over here. And you can see that your sitemap has been already generated. You can see there are um, options over here for your sitemap. So let's check out the sitemap first. Here you can see all the sitemaps are over here. If we click on the link, it goes to the link. So it's working perfectly. Now let's display the HTML sitemap. So let's click over here. You can see it's enabled. You can also see the display format. You can choose the short code or you can choose a page. You can create a page and then select the page over here where you want to display your HTML sitemap. So we're going to use the short code for the sitemap this time. So the short code is rank math HTML sitemap. All right. So we're going to copy this. So you can also see the sort by date. So we're going to click on publish date, show dates, item titles. You can also select the SEO titles, but we're going to select the item titles. And we are going to click on save changes. So after everything is saved, let's hover our mouse over pages and click on add new. And let's give our page a title. So from this block, we are going to click over here and we're going to search for short code block. And here it is. And now let's place in our short code. Okay. Now let's publish this page. And let's view this page right now. 
you can see all our uh, sitemap is over here. So let's get back to our dashboard. Okay, now we are going to use the all-in-one SEO plugin to add our XML and HTML sitemap. Okay, so from plugins, we're going to click on add new, just like before. And if we simply write AIO, we will find the plugin over here, which is the all-in-one SEO best WordPress SEO plugin. So we are going to click over here to install this plugin and then activate. Okay, so our plugin has been activated. So once it's activated, we can hover our mouse over here. We can click on sitemaps. Over here, you can see the sitemap is already enabled. We can click on this open sitemap button to check out our sitemap. You can see this is our sitemap. Fantastic, okay. So let's get back. And if you want to display the HTML sitemap, you can simply click over here and you can see that you can um, display your sitemap in a dedicated page or a Gutenberg block or short code widget or add in your own php code okay so let's first see the gutenberg block how you can add in your sitemap using the gutenberg block so this plugin adds a gutenberg block for your html sitemap so let's first click on save changes and let's go to pages and click on add new and we're going to name this page and now we're going to search for the block by clicking over here and searching for AIO HTML sitemap. Okay, so it's over here. All right, so now let's click on publish. All right, and let's now view this page. You can see our sitemap is already here. We can also create a dedicated page for our sitemap. So to do that, we are going to select this option. And let's go to our pages and click on add new. And like before, we are going to name our page. Now we're going to publish it. And we are going to copy this URL. And let's head back to our dashboard. Go to all-in-one SEO. Click on sitemaps. Select the HTML sitemap. And, and over here, we're going to paste in our link. All right, now let's scroll down. You can see uh, what you want to include, post types, taxonomies. Right, you can deselect this and choose what you want to include. So we want to include everything. Publication date, you can hide or you can show, it's up to you. So after we click on save changes, we can click on this open HTML sitemap button and you can see our sitemap is being shown here. Okay, so that is how you can generate the XML sitemap for your WordPress website and you can also display your HTML sitemap on your website. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.